Hi, welcome to our how-to video series where we're going to be showing you how to assemble the drone, how to get it up and going in the field, and how to process data. I'm Michael and I'm a field application specialist here at Smart Drone and I'm going to be walking you through these different processes. So in our first video, we're showing you how to unbox and assemble. So your drone's going to come here in a Pelican case just like this. We'll go ahead and open up our clips and you'll see you're going to have a couple batteries, a charger for the controller, a charger for the batteries, and four propellers. We'll go ahead and set those out of the way right over here. And next thing we're going to do is pull out our ground station. So ground station is going to be what connects our mobile device to the drone. So we can take that and we can take one of the flight batteries and just plug it right into this yellow connector on the back. And we'll go ahead and set that on top of a car or a vehicle, uh, something that's nice and high up to get good connection to the uh, drone. Next thing we're going to do is we'll pull the discovery unit right here out of the box and flip it over. Now the feet are little quick, uh, quick disconnect tabs. You're going to pull back on the sleeve, put it in place, and then release on the sleeve. It's very similar to like an air compressor hose. Every once in a while, putting them on or taking them off, you'll need to twist it to make sure you get it locked into the right spot, and then it'll work just perfectly. So now that we got this set up here, we can go ahead and put on our GNSS antenna. Now this is the antenna that collects GPS information for our, our LiDAR package. And then the antenna back here at the aft of the aircraft is what collects our GPS information for our autopilot. So once we have an antenna in place, we can go ahead and fold out our boom arms. We'll do the lower ones first, and then the upper ones second. And we'll assemble our, or put our propellers on. So these are color coded. Uh, we have gray and red. The gray uh, prop centerpiece goes to the gray centerpiece on the motor. And a red one goes, of course, to the red motors. And each of these motors does have a little arrow on it too that shows you the direction you need to spin it to get that prop put on and in place. Now a note on tightening these, they don't need to be especially tight because the aerodynamic force exerted on the blade as it's spinning in a circle is actually going to tighten the prop onto the motor. We'll get our last one on here. And our final step is just simply going to be to insert our batteries. So you got two batteries up here in the top of your case. And we'll put them into the back of the unit here. And I like to do it the lead facing down like so. And they just slide right on in. We'll attach this clip across the back. And this secures them into place. And then all you have to do is fold these right over and plug them into the yellow connector on the back of the unit. You should see some lights power on and in a few seconds it'll make some beeping noises. So there you have it. That's how to assemble the unit and get it ready to go. Our next video, we're going to show you how to plan a mission and send the mission to the vehicle in Q Ground Control. Thanks for watching and catch your next video.